Hi, my name is Jackie and I'm the campus health nurse here at Central Lakes College. What I'm going to be discussing with you today is your drug training information. Uh, the purpose of this training session is to ensure that you're familiar with the drug and alcohol policy for the heavy equipment operations and maintenance program and the diesel heavy equipment technician program for Central Lakes College. The training session is going to be divided into two segments. The first segment will be discussing the written policy. You will still be responsible for reading the entire written policy. The second segment will cover the forms that you will need to complete. The purpose of the drug and alcohol policy is to ensure the safety of highway travel by our students and maintain compliance with the Federal Highway Administration rules regarding drug and alcohol testing which comply with the Anti-Drug Abuse Act of 1988. A user of drugs and or alcohol, no matter the amount, is a potential safety hazard while driving or working under the influence. The goal of this policy is to ensure a drug and alcohol-free environment for any heavy equipment area and promote safety by reducing and preventing accidents, injuries, and fatalities. Students must make their own lifestyle choices, but Central Lakes College will not accept the risks or performance problems which an individual's drug and or alcohol abuse can create. The college has neither the intent or desire to intrude into the personal lives of a student. However, it is recognized that off-campus as well as on-campus involvement with drugs and or alcohol can have an impact on the training program and our ability to achieve the goal of maintaining a drug and alcohol-free college environment and maintain public safety. The policy of Central Lakes College is that its students be free of substance abuse and alcohol abuse. Consequently, the illegal use of drugs and alcohol is prohibited. Unless otherwise specified in this document, the drug and alcohol policy shall apply to all students in the heavy equipment operations and maintenance program, diesel and heavy equipment technician programs, or CLC students not in these programs but taking credit-based heavy equipment specific courses. The drug and alcohol policy will be administered by the Dean of Students of the Central Lakes College campus, Staples. The following are considered prohibited conduct for the purposes of this policy. No student shall report for duty or remain on duty while having an alcohol concentration of .02 or greater. No student shall possess or use alcohol or drugs while on duty. No student shall report on duty within four hours of consuming alcohol. No student required to take a post-accident alcohol test shall consume alcohol for eight hours following the accident or until he or she undergoes a post-accident test, whichever comes first. No student shall refuse to submit to a post-accident, random, reasonable suspicion, follow-up, or return-to-duty test or alcohol test. Refusal is considered a positive test. No student shall report for duty or remain on duty when the student uses any controlled substance except with a signed note from the prescribing physician stating that the student is safe to operate machinery while taking that substance. The possession, use, transfer, and or sale of drugs is prohibited. Any student who engages in prohibited conduct as previously described will be terminated from training and will not be considered for enrollment for a period of one year regardless of where the student might be within their training program. For example, if you're scheduled to graduate in May and have a positive random test the first week of May, you will be terminated and not complete your program. Students should only take those medications that have been prescribed by their own physician. There must be a medication sign-off form completed by the prescribing health care provider stating whether the student can operate machinery while taking the medication, and it must be specific for the student taking the medication. You cannot take your roommate's leftover pain med for your toothache. If you get pulled for a random test and it comes up positive, you will be considered in violation of the drug policy. If it's not your medication, don't take it. Testing for drugs will be by urinalysis. The test will be for the following controlled substances, marijuana, cocaine, opiates, amphetamines, which includes methamphetamine, and PCP. These tests will be conducted according to DOT standards. Tests will be completed with chain of custody documentation using a split specimen collection. If the certified test is positive, a confirmation test of that vial is completed before results are reported. Final results, both negative and positive, are reported to the designated medical review officer. The MRO will report these results to the college. If a result is positive, the MRO or the college designee will contact the student. 
Please note the section in the policy which defines the student's responsibility for contacting the MRO in the event of a positive result. Alcohol testing will be done using a breathalyzer or any other device approved by DOT. The breathalyzer will be operated by a trained technician. If the results of the test show an alcohol content of 0.02 to 0.0399, the student shall be removed from duty for 24 hours or until the next scheduled time on duty, whichever is longer. They may be subject to disciplinary action and referred to a substance abuse professional. If the result of the test is 0.04 or greater, the student will be terminated from training. Following DOT regulations, this college has implemented six circumstances for drug and alcohol testing. Pre-admission testing, post-accident testing, random testing, reasonable suspicion testing, return to duty testing, and follow-up testing. The most common tests we do at the college are the pre-admission testing and random testing. Please read the policy regarding each specific type of test. It is important that you understand that your test results are yours. It doesn't matter how the substance got there. If you test positive for marijuana, it is your positive test. It doesn't matter that it was your roommates who were smoking. It is suggested that you choose your friends and environments carefully. You should also remember that different body types process substance differently. Don't count on a chart to tell you that you should be clean. Instructors who are responsible for determining reasonable suspicion will have training in both alcohol misuse and controlled substance use as specified by the federal standard. In your packet, you have five forms relating to drug testing. Your first form is the Central Lakes College Policy on Drugs and Alcohol for the Heavy Equipment and Diesel Programs. Several points have been highlighted in this presentation, but you are still responsible for carefully reading this policy. The second form is your Drug and Alcohol Policy Sign-Off Form. You need to sign this form once you have completed reading the policy and answering the questions. By signing this form, you are indicating that you have read and understood the policy. It also indicates that you understand the consequences for violation of this policy. This form needs to be turned in when you go for drug testing. Your third form is the drug and alcohol quiz. This form must be completed before you go for drug testing. You will turn it in at the testing site. The fourth form is your urine drug test collection instructions. You need to read this form completely and sign it at the bottom. It explains the actual drug testing process at the test site. It explains your responsibilities and your rights when being tested. You will need to bring this form with you to the test site. The fifth and final form is a form that you will keep with you. It's the medication sign-off form. You should have some at home and some with you at school. If a health care provider, such as a doctor or dentist, prescribe any medication for you, they must complete this form. It states whether or not the medication will affect your ability to work with machinery. If you are currently on a medication, you should have this form completed by the prescribing provider as soon as possible. Some medications can affect your drug test. If you are selected for a random test and have a positive result from a prescribed medication, but we do not have a medication sign-up form, you will not be allowed to attend class or labs until that medication can be verified. Once you have completed your testing at the drug site, please have the person who did your drug test initial the registration checklist. You will also have a copy of the chain of custody form from your drug test. This needs to be kept with your admission paperwork. It is your proof that the testing was completed. This concludes the presentation portion of your drug testing information. You will need to complete the question sheet in your packet and sign the appropriate forms. When you have completed them, you are ready for your drug test. You will need to bring a valid driver's license and your social security number with you to the test site. Please contact your admissions consultant about where the testing is being done. Remember, the choices that you make about drug and alcohol use will affect you, your family, and the people around you.